Yo, what's up guys? Yeah, Pokemon here. Today we're going to be team building and also battling for the final round of this Ubers tournament. Currently, right now, spoilers, I am 1-2 and two, and if I win today, I actually go on to the tiebreaker, which actually brings us into the actual, like, the final rounds of the tournament. If I lose, then I'm out. But either way, it's been a fun run. I hope you guys have been enjoying DVP Ubers. We're going to be building the teams live and then the later half of the video is going to be the battles. I'll obviously have some... Uh, some timestamps down below if y'all want to skip through or see certain teams being built or see certain games being done. If y'all been enjoying this, you know, leaving a like, leaving a comment, telling me you've been enjoying this, what's been your favorite part, let me know. You know, it helps me out, lets me learn what y'all want to see. Uh, also, if you want to help me out for free, feel free to click the Samsung link down below. You're helping me out for free, but subscribe as well. So, uh, we have, I was, I've been, uh, I, I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but I've been going through all my, uh, my old fan art and, uh, this is when we did Mammal Swine to the top, and it's called Thick, because uh, Adam and Life for Female Mammal Swine was what Gator called Thick. But um, we have three ideas right here. I'm going to give a shout out to Edgar. Uh, basically, I wanted some inspiration, so I was like, yo, give me some random monsters to build around. He didn't give me any EVs, didn't give me any full movesets, didn't give me anything. So, BKC, I'm not cheating. I promise. He just gave me some inspiration on what to build around. So, we got Boom Mewtwo. We got my second take at Gravity, because he said Choice Band Groudon. And then we got Pursuit Weavile Rain, which looks really cool. So... Um, I'm excited to start. Let's get into it. So the idea behind this is that Mewtwo self-destructs on Kyogre and then it, I'm playing, uh, Twash, uh, Twash, Twash, by the way, is that how you say it? Twash, I believe is how you say it. If I'm not mistaken, I feel like he was boys with MBZ back in the day, so that's pretty cool. But also I know he was an old school player in general, but self-destruct Mewtwo plus Groudon. Uh, the idea is you boom on Kyogre and then that allows you, your, your son to be infinite. So I'm just gonna see a few things about that. Uh, Mewtwo, let's just put blank set and just put self-destruct. We wanna see how much we do. Self-destruct is broken. Explosion moves are broken in older generations. Really older generations because they are stupid strong. As you can see, zero attack. Self-destruct does 100% to uh, no bolt Kyogre and to max bolt Kyogre, we do 84 to 99. I can make that happen after Stealth Rock, I think, right? I'm gonna see if I can make that happen after Stealth Rock. Yep, very easy. So 52 EVs to do that. It's not bad. Um, honestly, I'll probably just go for that, right? Yeah, I want to I be able to kill max HP Kyogre after Stealth Rock, so, or Spikes. So we're going to go, uh, what is that, 52? Yeah, we're going to go 52 EVs always. I think you always want to go max speed on the Mewtwo. You never want to lose, you know, speed ties. When I'm on like this, I... Th do I go hasty? That hurts in the Giratina calc, right? Like... That's the big one. That hurts in Giratina. But I feel like I still have enough defense anyway. Right? And in terms of moves, Aura Sphere, I'm going to be on uh, I'm gonna be on Sun, so I want Fire Blast as well. And I think I want Ice Beam. I could go Thunder, but because I'm going to be self-destructing on Kyogre anyway, there's no point. Uh, Ice Beam allows me to hit uh, Giratina, which is very important. I think Aura Sphere and Ice Beam are givens. Fire Blast boosted in the Sun House out with Spit Off Jirachi. Aura Sphere is strong versus Dialga. And most Pokemon I'm probably just going to self-destruct on anyway. So it's just good... Like, I'm self-destructing on Ho, which is something I thunder. I'm self-destructing on Kyogre, which is something I thunder. I'll Ice Beam into self-destruct on Lugia, which is something I thunder anyway. So, um, yeah, this seems like the set. Just want to run a quick calc and see how much that Giratina... Giratina Origin. Oh, you mix Attacker. Let's just make it... Damn near max attack. If I'm naive... Alright, uh, I live easily. Easily, easily, easily. Only a, a crit can kill me. So, awesome. Good to know. Wait... Oh, I mean hasty, sorry. But it's the same thing, right? Yeah, 51 and 61. Only a crit can come. Cool. So we got the Mewtwo set already down pack. I'm going to go Groudon on this too. I'm trying to figure out, like, I think that you do Spadef Groudon on these type of builds just because... Do I do, 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 I do Spadef or do I do Impish? Like, I had I had a Groudon that took on... Uh, I had a Groudon that was really nice. It was good for, like, Dialga... And it could take on everything. It was like this, right? I don't think I need Stone Edge. I think Dragon Claw is completely fine for Giratina and stuff. Um, but it was like Dragon Claw, Toxic, Earthquake, Protect. I was just going through my team builder on the other side because I have two team builders open. But I remember a little bit of speed for opposing Groudon. Toxic plus Protect costs me out versus Giratina, which is annoying for this mon, obviously. Uh, Dragon Claw is there to do damage to Lottie, Rayquaza, etc., etc. The other option was Stone Edge, which. Uh, we may end up changing anyway. Um, and the other option as well is I could go Stealth Rock over Toxic too. But I like Toxic plus Protect a lot. 
I like Dragon Claw as well. I think Dragon Claw is just important. It just hits so much. It's really important. Like. And plus, because Sun will be up, I'll be able to take on Palkia's hits better, especially with Protect plus Leftovers and Ecotoxic as well. So I think this is a given as well. I might even go more, um, might even go more Special Defenses too. So we have these two. Um, I do think that despite this being Sun, I still want to be able to switch into Kyogre's like Specs Ice Beams and stuff. And even though, and Latias just does that very well regardless of how strong they are. Um, so I like the idea behind these guys. Hidden Power Fire is something I could run for Scizor and Fortress. Uh, definitely want, I think, Dragon Pulse. Dragon Pulse. Dragon Pulse is going to help us hit, obviously, all the dragons. Dragon is broken in this. Uh, do I want to run Calm Mind, though? Because if, if Mewtwo gets rid of Kyogre, so I can self-destruct on it, then it can't Thunder Wave beat me, right? And I can go like a Calm Mind, Dragon Pulse. And then this still helps me out versus uh, Scarf Garchomp to Calm Mind. I do like Calm Mind. I feel like I haven't been using this effectively. Calm Mind, Dragon Pulse. I'm debating if I go Hidden Power Ground. Because it's good versus uh, Heatran. It's good versus... Jirachi as well if it's wish protect u-turn iron head It's just good. I'm debating though if I want to do that because I don't want to be walled by opposing heat train either Do I want to go combine line though is the problem? I definitely want a lot of that's for sure because I want to be able to take on the um, I want to be able to take on Kyogre so I think that we uh, go a little bit faster than Garchomp and we go a little bit faster than that That's fine Honestly Screw special attack investment. I do think that being the most bulky is the best thing to do on Latias uh, because you can calm mind up on these specs attacks if they come out. And uh, do I calm mind up on them? I want to see something real quick because I want to see how Smogon does it too. I use Latias a few times, but Diamond and Pearl, Latias. Show me the Uber sets, please. The Ubers. Yeah, they do 204 special attack. Using your speech, you can threaten Noko. Oh, that's actually something I should look at. I'm pretty sure I knock out with 52 special attack just because it's soul do boosted. But let's make sure I actually KO Pokemon. Why is uh okay Uber's calm mine? Let's see 56. Why I put why I put 52? Same thing. It's not gonna make that much of a difference, right? So Dragon Pulse does not do enough to Giratina. I could go Draco, but let's forget that. All right, I should actually be KOing these Pokemon. So yeah, I need more special attack to be a KOing these Pokemon. Let's see. Do I actually have to go to the number they? I do have to go to the number they listed. Damn it. Okay, yeah, I need 204. Ah, I didn't want to do theirs. They have like 112, 192. Man, Palkia ain't gonna be at 100%, bro. And shoot, that's a dirty roll. I'll take it. I want my speed. I want my speed. Let me run the calc on Giratina one more time, and that's not naive as well. Let's just do. Let's do hasty just to see. I don't even KO this mon. I mean, if it's naive, then it does. let's go back to naive because I like the way that calc looked and that I killed. Okay. It ain't that much of a difference. Bro, if I go 180, it's the same thing. 92. That's not bad. Palkia, Uber Choice Scarf, Dragon Pulse is 99 to 116. That's a roll I could take for sure. Yeah, 99 to 116. I could take that roll. I could take that roll. It allows me to still keep my health and um, and then go even more speed if I want to. Dragon Pulse. How much does Dragon Claw from Groudon do? Uber Rock Polish. Strong as hell, bro. Why are you so strong? How much does 12? 12 make that much of a difference? There's only a 43% chance with 12. Instead of a 50. I'll take that. I'll make it less in their favor. 
So Dragon Pulse combo. I'm not going to lose to Offensive Groudon because I have my own Groudon to click uh, Toxic Plus Protect on and, and hopefully beat it 1v1, but that's still like, that's something that's annoying. So come on, recover. And then again, we either go the Hidden Power. I am leaning towards Hidden Power Ground. They have Grass Knot here for Kyogre and stuff. But I'm a boom on it, right? So I don't need Grass Knot. Uber Stallbreaker. So that plus one that always kills. Yep. Last thing I want is my, my damn Sun Team being walled by the same Pokemon I'm trying to beat. Oh, shoot. Damn it. I don't think that much people. I would get. Okay, that's the, uh, that's the thing I wanted. So that's good. That's good versus Heatran. A spike up. I have potential Stealth Rock as well. Uh, Garchomp answer. Garchomp answer. Yeah, I don't know why I'm feeling a random Deoxys defense, bros. Like, <laughs> I'm feeling a random Deoxys defense, bros. I am pretty dark right weak, too. I should be careful about that. I mean, me too or revenge kill, too. But I gotta be very careful about dark right. I don't know why I'm feeling a random Deoxys defense. Like, I, why the hell am I feeling a random Deoxys defense? What the hell's going on? Also, obviously, Dialga is annoying, but that's Dialga at the end of the day. Ho oh is always an option on this types of teams. I think I actually do Ho oh lead. I think I actually go Ho oh lead in this type of build. And I go, uh, I think I go Pasho Berry. So that way we take Kyogre. I mean, no, 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 no. no. Screw it, bro. I'm going. I'm going home. I'm going. Oh, go home, bro. I'm going. I'm going. Choice, man. Barrier bird, sacred fire, earthquake, speed talk, standard dot. I'm gonna go jolly. Yep, max max. Pasha would be good for Kyogre because I have like my lure for Kyogre here. I think I'll be okay. And then. Dialga is annoying, but if it runs Earth Power, Heatran isn't going to beat it anyway, right? So, like... <laughs> Boosted Groudon. Hmm. I'm trying to think how I want to do it. I like the whole, I like the whole offensive option. I still want a Stealth Rocker as well. And this is a Dark Right check, too. This is a Dark Right check. Dark Right check. Good answer. Hazard answer. Uh, I think I do... Flurry on these? I feel like Flurry is good for this. Not necessarily good as a Pokemon, but good for this. Especially with Kyogre being gone, but it's still Dialga weak, right? So the Dragon Claw, I go Stealth Rock, and then make it Trick Room Dialga, which spikes this. Huh. Okay, I think I could do that. I go Stealth Rock Toxic Protect. I go Spikes. Payback. <laughs> Rapid's been like I'm ever gonna get rid of that. <laughs> like I'm ever gonna be able to get rid of anything. And then my speed control is gonna be actually Trick Room as opposed to Choice Scarf. And I'm gonna take the exact same, I'm gonna take the exact same one that I did from last time. Um, where are you, buddy? No, that's hello. That's hello back. It's right here. No, it's not right here. Excuse me. It's right here. Yeah. But instead of adamant orb and earthquake, I go fire blast because it's on sun. I think that's the way to do it, because I have hidden power ground to check Heatran. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I go fire the last. Fire blast, Draco is super strong. And I go life orb for the damage output. To help on that. And then I just make it. I just make it uh, quiet nature instead. 
but I want to make sure that Outrage doesn't knock to Blissey. But I have spikes up, so I should be okay. But I think I think this is the, the way to do it on this type of build. Well, I should be able to do a lot. Nah, maybe I still do actually go max attack just because of the um, fact that Manaphy. It's not gonna overpower me, but I mean, if Latias gets crit, I can lose to it, right? So maybe I go like this. Okay, I think that I think that's the build, and I just gotta fix my forward first a little bit. This is it. I'm about to go, uh, Diab opposing Diablo is still freaking pain to switch into, right? But what can I do? Who cares? Like, that's, uh, that's Pokemon. I think I go max, max for sure. Yo, I don't know why I'm leaning towards random HP ice on this guy. No, Explosion covers the exact same thing as Generation. I was thinking about HP ice for like Dragon Dance Rayquaza and stuff like that, but Explosion should do the exact same thing. Okay, I mean, um, looks fun enough. Specs dragons are gonna be a problem, but specs dragons are always a problem. I don't want to go Heatran either because I'm gonna get worn down. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. I don't, I don't want to get worn down in that way. Hey, I will. Let me see that. Join organized crime ring and infiltrates the police as an undercover agent in order to find out the truth about her father's death. Okay. I just got recommended a show. Um, but yeah, so I'm thinking like this. I think it can work. It has the tools. If it's, I do a lot with Outrage. Also, the main reason also I'm putting Outrage with Max Attack. It might look bad when I have like two special attacks, but it's mainly because I, uh, I'm really weak to opposing Dialga, I feel. So a physical Outrage, I think, will do better than anything else. So this is my take on Sun, with Boom, Leftovers, Mewtwo. All right, so we got that one. Now we're gonna do Choice Band Groudon plus Gravity. So Choice Band Groudon is extremely easy. Earthquake, Dragon Claw, putting them in order and let you click these moves, right? You have Fire Punch and then you have Stone Edge. Extremely easy. You go Jolly Max Speed. The Gravity users you're gonna have are Deoxys, Bronzong, Palkia, Dialga, Jirachi, right? Mew can do it too. Uh, maybe I do do it with Mew. That could work. Mew would be like max speed. Probably like an explosion set with like spikes. Sorry, I forgot what generation I'm playing. <laughs> Damn it, Mew, why don't you get spikes in this? Gravity, U-turn, explosion. Lumberry type of thing. Would it be lead though? I thought it'd be, I don't think it'd be lead. Gravity plus that which seems cool. And then we could run choice specs plus gravity. And then focus blast there, yeah. Draco Meteor. Focus Blast. Thunder. And Hydro Pump. Try Specs Gravity. That's that. That's obviously the, uh, the, the Kyogre answer. Bronzong. Could run Gravity. Hmm. Actually, no. I think I'm going to Deoxys Speed with this. Spikes. Focus Ash. Just one of the options, right? Uh, let's just put... Let's just beat the uh, the other annoying leads, like... Ice Beam for, like, Ray and stuff. Or I can do Super Power as well. Super Power, Mix, Gravity, Spikes. It's honestly asking for a lot for me to do this. This is this is hard. Okay, no, 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 no. I'm doing. I'm trying to do too much by, by focusing on this guy. So I'm gonna forget gravity. I'm gonna go for spikes and then use my other dudes to gravity up. Right? It'll probably be a bronze or the Jirachi again. I use a Jirachi again to gravity up. So we'll do something like this. Spikes. Yeah, literally just spam spikes. Psycho boost is for a random tenor crawl. 
I'm gonna take my Jirachi from last time as well. I think that this was the the correct one to do. Add Pokemon. Paste. Yeah, so gravity plus that. See, when I did gravity plus Garchomp, I fully committed. Yeah, I was really weak to opposing. Um, I really like this Deoxys a little bit more. You know, I'm gonna do this instead of the other one. Do this one instead. I like Deoxys attack a little more with this strat. Yeah. This would be a Dialga check. The wish, obviously, and pass to my homies. Spikes up more than Stealth Rock. Hmm. Do I like that? I do want a, a Ghost. So I am leaning towards Giratina on this build. Car top is going to be so freaking annoying, man. Holy crap. You know what? No, it's not. Because I'm going to do Kamai and Lugia. Come on, Ice Beam, Thunder Roost. Uh, recover, whatever. Don't think it needs max speed, but it's not bad to have. Yeah, so like this plus spikes just looks really strong. And then I have the. This is also a Garchomp check as well, so. And I'm fastening it and I can knock it out with Ice Beam. Okay, good, good. This makes sense, this makes sense. Specs you, dragon moves randomly are annoying. Not randomly, but they are annoying. Hmm. Giratina can be problematic. Palkia is checked. I'm really, 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 really weak to Latios. Adios. This one can beat, but like the Dragon Pulse from now damages me, I feel. Okay. I go Double Steel on this. The leftovers. I go one Gravity Mon, which is Jirachi. This is going to be Stealth Rock. Payback. Toxic. Earthquake or Explosion. I go Earthquake. I'm just go Max Special Defense, yeah. Focus on wish passing, getting my home. For, forget stop. Oh, I have to hunt right here. But like, yeah, focus on wish passing, get as much damage out with this guy as possible. I kind of want this to be scarf though, but I like specs. I like how fast it is too. Pretty dark right week, but shoot, I'm really dark right week. Hmm. Explosion over that, then. I love Dark Ride Week, but what can I do? I mean, there's a lot I could do, but am I gonna do it? No. Water Spout, I can sack this and then always do some stuff. Really opposing Rain Week, though. Like, Palkia does not cut it. <laughs> um. Sorry, I was being the DM. I'm just trying to think, trying to think if this is the way to do it. Cause I do like double steel Lugia. I think that's really good. I do think Groudon on that. I'm honestly like, I I, and I like Palkia. I think it has to be Palkia on this build as well. But I think I go. I don't think I have to go choice scarf. I'm gonna go Specs, whatever. We got one Gravity Mom plus Choice Band Groudon. Now Garchomp would be really good on it, but I used Garchomp last time. And I didn't like it as much. I mean, actually no, Gar Garchomp with Spikes is really good. But we'll see, we'll see what happens here. All right, last one is Pursuit Weavile plus Rain. The idea of Weavile is you uh, beat you beat the dragons, you have Ice Shard, you have Pursuit, you have Low Kick as well. And uh, as well as uh, 
Uh, we have Garchomp, we have that, we have Low Kick for Dialga. And do I go Ice Punch? I think I go Ice Punch. Right over Night Slash. I wish I could go Knock Off, man. Knock Off sucks. I'm gonna some Calcsul Weavile real quick. Dialga. That's strong. <laughs> That's actually really strong. Um, yeah, the same speed as Darkrai, right? We're still doing Darkrai. Oh, that's so strong, dude. That's so strong. Okay, well, we're doing it that way. Yeah, then we're gonna go Ice Punch. Stronger than Night Slash. Low Kick hits all the other guys anyway, so. Yeah, we're gonna go Life or Weavile. Uh, the idea behind Pursuit, I guess, is to weaken this guy. And then we do that plus Kyogre Rain. So we weaken Kabutops. We weaken... Uh, we weaken Kabutops. We... We... Excuse me. We weaken Giratina for Kabutops. We weaken Dialga for Kabutops. I, I like the idea of that as well because if, if if we can weaken a lot of these guys Giratina Hmm I wanna see what Calm Mind does for this guy. Also <laughs> hold up, hold up. Why do you only do that much? <laughs> nah, that's enough. I'm gonna look at the Calm Mind set real quick. Calm Mind, Dragon Pulse. Shoot, I'll take it. Dragon Pulse for sure. Just the damage is really good. Do I do Rest Talk? I feel like Rest Talk is really bad on like every Pokemon ever. <laughs> I think it's so bad. It never pulls what you need, and it gets your hopes up. That's why it sucks. It's like someone saying they're gonna get you something for Christmas, and then they don't get it for you. Ghost, Dragon Pulse is a good option. Giratina can Oko. Yep, yep. Okay, that's enough out here. Oko those guys. Thunder is good. As well. I like this set. I'm taking this set. I'm stealing this from you, bro. What did the Spadev do? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Jolly Tyranitar, most Kyogre, while well, it's beating your own. I mean, your own should be so and toxic and paralyze it. This is just getting an excellent choice. Require that class of Uber Steam, often because it's gone on, known as Blissey Giratina, and a filler, often Lugia Giratina. Oh, can switch in on the Blissey without a problem. Not much of a problem. I mean, like a toxic, but yeah. Uh, oh, la, la, yes. Oh my, Kyogre to the Moss Rain team. This is probably set up. And Safeguard, Offensive Partner. Offensive Partner is that good team. It's for the Pokemon. Can set up Entry Hatch. I will take advantage of Giratina's ability to weakness. Dodge the speed is a great. Blah, 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 blah. If Giratina's calm mind, he can severely weaken her Kyogre, most of the other. Kyogre, Thunder, and Terror, or so. We can escort her to mean the Sorgeance would cause her Lucario and sweep a team almost unchecked. <gasps> <They're almost laughs> you too. Darkrai and Lugia to set up much more easily. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I just. I'm a really sarcastic person. I just don't show it as much, I guess, online because there's not a lot of people I talk to when I need to. But I haven't really watched my boy Onfuga hit me up. I haven't really watched Pokemon videos in a hot minute, like a long time. I bet they watched my CTC one, but these are me one for all times really I started that. <laughs> okay, so I like this. And I've watched like, every single one because it keeps popping up. <laughs> Much love, bro. I love Wally. All right, so. That, that, that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go there, EV Sprite, because I trust them, even though they're outdated as hell. What is the Oxus I decided on before? I'm taking you. You're, you were safe. Just, just 
put you right there, buddy. I'm putting you in front. Yeah, because it spikes up. I think Weavile just KOs most Pokemon, right? Yeah, that could could probably uh thought the focus punch for a second. I was like, damn, I'm a demon. Why doesn't Dialga have counters, Matt? <laughs> damn it. Give this mod some counters. Nah, I'm going to Scarf for sure. With everything being weak, and I just like the damage that this guy does all the time. I don't know why I even bother putting water spout. Like that move has never clicked. There's so many houses in this damn game, bro. Surf, thunder, ice beam, ice beam. The problem with this is like, and the, I always fall to Kabutops, but I feel like that mon is so freaking good. I don't care. I'm going to Kabutops, bro. I like it. I like it a lot. And rain like tends to sway in a certain way, and just. I like Kabutas, man. I do. Low kick is always better. And I'll put it. Kind of want rapid spin, though, to be honest. But this is fine. This guy beats stuff. Every time I use Quillfish, I fail. Every time I use Kabutops, I'm happy. Wait, I fail too. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> I'm talking about myself. Like, yo, this is dumb. Where are the Palkia Dialga answers, bro? This is a Rayquaza answer, it's really cool. If it's Swords, then it's like we're faster than the E speed because E speed isn't the press priority in this. I, you know what I like? You know what I want to use? I'm going to use Lumberry. And just use like Thunder Wave type of thing, right? Because that helps out the Retina. I'm going to do like that. So I'll be like Max Special Attack. Is some type of something like that. Uh, that speed tier, I've seen Groudon's like adamant, like rock polish Groudon's go up to like a little bit below. So I figured I'd just do that and just use more in attack. This guy helps me out with the Lotties, which are problems. Lumberry can always come out like when something died, which is pretty cool. Yeah, and then the last, how am I going to be a Palkia or a Dialga? <laughs> the world may never know. I forgot about to put a damn Lucario on this. this. I'm about to put a damn Lucario on this. Boy. You know what? What am I even saying, bro? <laughs> Welcome to the team, buddy. Welcome to the team. I'm going to get Chip on them, and we've all about to pack them up. That's all I need. Leftovers. Dragon Pulse. Thunder, of course. <laughs> of course. Gore and Stealth Rock. Screw everything else. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I ain't ever want to think about opposing Kyogre. I don't want to care about opposing Kyogre. I don't want to care about opposing Palkia. You want to? You want to? You want to drink on me or me? I'm a Thunder Wave you with Kyogre anyway, so it don't even matter, right? I'm gonna make my Kabutops win. That's the game. That's the whole team. Pursuit we've rain. Actually, you know, with a few modifications on this team, like maybe change the Giratina set, this team might actually be fire. But, do we change things out here? Nah, not me, not I. Um, though I could change Thunder, but I like I like how much it does to Kyogre and stuff like that. And we got this guy as well. All right, that's the teams. Guys, that's it. That's the squads. That's it. We're going in with those. Uh, we'll see if we can get some dubs. And yeah, I mean, I hope y'all have been enjoying the series no matter what. My reigns tend to look very similar. <laughs> but I hope y'all guys have been enjoying the series. Uh, definitely been fun to really build again and i can't wait because i'm also going to be building in pokemon brilliant diamond shining pearl every day right because I'm, I'm making teams only if i can wi-fi battle the way i want to i'll be wi-fi battle you know and by i mean the way i want to obviously i mean the timer but yep we're going to get right into the battles all right so here we are with the game versus uh twash is it twash twash why do i feel like i'm not good at this but we do see uh tentacle lead versus ho uh, so i'm assuming like a t-spike type of thing um do I usually play these games with no music? I do, obviously. What am I even thinking? Have fun. Oh, this guy should probably be set. I can rapid spin, but there's no way I'll actually be able to get it off in this game. Uh, I'm just going to go for Earthquake. No matter what, it'll knock out a Tentacruel. They're not going to knock me out with Hydro Pump at all. 
And yeah, if they're if they're Lumberry, they just die. So I'll gladly take that KO right there. I'm assuming Kyogre comes out now. Um, this could be like a type of rain. I think this is the type of game where my Dialga is gonna go crazy as well. If they are that subcom mind Giratina though, it could be a little bit annoying. We'll see though. Because I would think that Giratina would come right in on my uh, Foragers. But I expect Kyogre to come out right now. Kyogre Pal or Palkia. If they have it. I guess random Groudon too, but Groudon plus Tentacruel plus is a little bit weird. Maybe it's not. <laughs> maybe maybe I'm the weird one for thinking that. Skyman. Ooh. Are you subseed, brother? I'll make the Latias play. They probably do Leech Seed here. I'll go Fortress right now and attempt to... Because um, I have Ice Beam. I have Ice Beam that. So I'm going to attempt to spin. That way I can get in my... My Mewtwo. So let's see. Because Mewtwo should be enough to beat it. Uh, this is if I don't get flinched, of course, to death. But... They need a few more to beat me. I would like to be able to get this free spin if possible. Alright, so that one goes down unfortunately. I think I calm mind once on the air slash and then just recover up. Uh, maybe maybe I'm wrong for doing this as well because they technically could still beat me 1v1. Nice. Okay, they're not doing much. Let's see if I can Dragon Pulse through. Now let me let me sack Fortress. It's fine. I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not. Let me not get greedy on this guy. Oh, actually, I can afford to get greedy here. Kind of like ADV right now, right? Because they have the uh, air slash plus that. I do, I do manage to break the sub, which is cool. I think we go home and we just Brave Bird spam until I die. That turn I also could have went Fortress technically and tried to spin. Because I, I want to get my Mewtwo in. This guy's just going to give me some problems. But I will Oko it later with Dialga and I will feel better about myself when it dies. Yeah, they can kind of just try and sub forever here, huh? We'll go Fortress and try and get some leftovers back on it. Nice. Back to Ho-Oh. If they don't flinch me, they only need one, but if they don't flinch me, they don't end up behind a sub, so I think Leech Seed is the best play. Personally. All that for Foragers, because I want to try and get it up later. Alright, we'll always beam here. This guy's really annoying, man. Versus this type of team that I have. Alright, they didn't Leech Seed again, which is great. Gonna double into Foragers again. As, yep, a Jirachi comes out, which is to be expected. Please don't have Fire Punch so I can get up a spike. Please don't have Fire Punch. Come on. Just give me a little spike at least so I can do something for my Dialga. That I'm okay with. We'll go Dialga here on the U-turn. You don't know my set, bro. I could be Scarf. Them being Scarf is really good too. I think I'm going to attempt to make the Forge's play here as they go for Sub and go for Rapid Spin if possible. I don't know if Earthquake knocks me out, but if I, again, if I can get rid of that T-Spike, it would be nice for my own Groudon to beat this thing 1v1. Nice! Okay, it could be Sub Bulk Up, I suppose. Alright, so we got rid of that T-Spike, which is going to open up my Groudon, obviously.
Gonna earthquake them. Go for a toxic here. Maybe they'll double earthquake. Maybe they'll go Skyman, which I would be okay with. Get a nice little toxic off, which is awesome. Get that thing worn down. That's gonna be really nice for Dialga. Protect here. Whether they sub or not, it doesn't matter. Honestly, sub would be better for me if they subbed. But getting that little toxic off is nice. And then we're going to go for Stealth Rock as well to chip down that, uh, to wear down the Jirachi even more, but mainly to wear down Skyman. Thirty-one, thirty-one, thirty-one. I'm at thirty-one point four. I don't trust that. I shouldn't sack my uh, Lottie. I'm just gonna sack Fortress. They go for Dragon Claw there. I'm gonna protect here so it's not a roll. Basically, Groudon dies to uh... Groudon dies real soon. Do I actually protect here, or do I go... No, I go Lottie here, because it covers Skyman coming in. Because my Mewtwo goes crazy, right? Ice Beam will kill Groudon. Um, fire... Flame, do I have Fire Blast or Flamethrower on this one? Shoot. <laughs> I can look at it, but I don't want to accidentally misclick it. Fire Blast will Oko Jirachi. Exactly. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. I'm assuming you're a Calm Mind variant too. Still gonna Calm Mind here. As I go for Toxic and Miss, I'm okay with that. And then I get some beautiful damage off on something right now with the Dragon Pulse. Obviously, I want Sun to be up as well. But yeah, like if Jirachi comes in, I'm pretty sure it dies to plus one Dragon Pulse into... HP Fire. I don't know how much Kyogre takes from this. But I could also have Thunder here, so this is like a rear this is a weird turn for them. They don't know if I have Thunder. Now, this is a really weird turn. I don't know why I feel like they have Protect. I'm just gonna recover here. Like, they're obviously, yeah, 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 they are. Awesome. So, we go for another Dragon Pulse now. Jirachi comes out. Let's not make that a roll. Let's just go for Hidden Power. So, it's not a roll. Um. Hold on, let me calc once more. Plus one. 4 to 47. That was just a higher roll, yeah. Let's just go for Hidden Power Ground so it dies. Perfect. No Healing Wish coming back. I'd sub if I were them 100% of the time. You do not go for Air Slash and Risk. This is a risk, bro. I think right here I doubled a Dialga on Kyogre. Mm. Yeah, I double because I could easily Ice Beam and knock them out. Groudon's close. I just need I just need Kyogre to be closer <laughs> to the KO, you know. So I'm gonna trick him up here. As they protect, exactly, and now I get to drop a Draco. Is Outrage a better play? I think it is. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect, so Groudon dies. It'll be 2 a KO'd, I don't gotta worry about that. I can save this boy later for, uh, for Kyogre, so... If, you know, worst case scenario happens. 
And they wear protect. Gonna sack my grout on here. I think I just go Dialga now. Okay, so that spike up is really nice, obviously. I still have Ice Beam for the fast Shaman. I could also Fire Blast the, uh, the Shaman as well, so. But that potential Scarfer in the back can beat me down as well. So this is going to be really close. Maybe Draco that turn would have been stronger, but... Okay, they're that. So maybe they're bulk up. I can't tell. I think I Draco first, though. Damn, man. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Or Sphere for some chip. They should sack Kyogre here and then bring back out Dialga and win, I think. There's no reason to protect, so I just go for self destruct and pray off a of dodge. There's no reason for them to protect here. It literally does not make sense. You just attack. Yep. I go Dialga, I pray off a of dodge, I go for Trick Room, and I pray for Crit, basically. That's my play right now. So I think if they Thunder, they win with Life Orb. Good game. So unfortunately, I lose the first one. Uh, I think that, like, obviously it's Skyman, so I can't really complain too much. But if I was able to Rapid Spin and my Mewtwo obviously was healthy, it could have made a difference, I think. But it's Skyman at the end of the day, right? So I can't really be mad about that. Right, we're going to try Gravity around two with Spikes, Offense, Psycho Boost, Choice Band, that, Specs, that. And I think I, because of what it was, like, obviously, if I was Jirachi with U-Turn, it would have been better in that situation, right? But because of, like, the mod I was, I think I did, I handled it okay. Alright, spikes, nope, no, 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 gravity with CB. Oof, this mod's gonna be annoying. Have fun. I'm just gonna get up a spike in their face and pray I don't, like, it would be nice to not get burnt immediately, obviously. So I doubt I get away with that. But yeah, uh, obviously spike up. This is the, the, the gravity team. That's going to take me down. I'm going to get burnt. Yep. We go Palkia here. We click choice specs uh, hydro pump. We don't, we don't predict. We just click specs hydro. If they're banded, that's fine. This looks like it'd probably be a sun team. I'm assuming maybe a Blissey might come out. Assuming they're using a similar team to what I did before. But yeah, this is Specs Hydro Pump from Palkia, man. This is a strong move. If it lands, that is. I would love for them to stay in and die, thinking they could take it just to Brave Bird me. But yeah, basically in that situation, the ideal for me would have been to get the spike and then also get Psycho Boost damage on Hi -oh, Ho. -oh. That way from this position, I could click Draco instead. Because I didn't, I gotta click Specs Hydro. There's the Bliss. To be expected, yep. Alright, we're gonna go Jirachi as a soft boil. Gonna U turn here just in case because a fortress might come out. Gonna bring out Groudon now. Click Joyce Band Fire Punch and not predict. Awesome. So we keep our hazards and they don't get. Perfect. So I'm glad I went for that. Choice Band Groudon did its thing. In the sun, obviously it was boosted. There was no way Fortress took that. They said, oh, good. I didn't think anyone was running that this tournament. <laughs> Tired of these fouries. Did you know? Just wondering. Ooh, a crest.
Okay, so uh, the gravity stuff is obviously going to work. I did. He was a good UK friend. I knew it. Love him. <laughs> and I remember him mentioning you. Sorry. They might double here. I'm going to get a Brox as opposed. I was going to double out to Groudon there, but I think Rocks in the long run are going to give me more out of this. Should keep this Mon alive for sure. Sacred Fire is free, but they might Brave Bird. I think Palkia has, has done its job. If they banned a Brave Bird, so be it. Sub, Sacred Fire. This has to land. <laughs> And plus I can pressure stall some of their attack. Come on, buddy. Land. I guess they can pressure stall me, technically, huh? Let's see if they toxic. I'm just gonna calm mind up. They do have Sacred Fire and burn me, but that doesn't matter. I'm just pressure stalling them. And actually, them burning me is way worse for them. They might lose to this now. Uh, not only do they only have two Sacred Fires in front of this guy, but now they can't toxic me. So there's a very big chance they lose to this mon. Fortress is gone, so no hazards are gone. I'm sure they have a Heatran on their team. Maybe they have a Latias as well, but... There's a shot they lose to this Mon. And now they only have... Oh, they have they have only their one Sacred Fire left, so... Nice, let's go ahead and recover and pray they don't burn me. I mean, pray they don't crit me right here. Because it'd be really sucky. I'm just going to recover always. Stall out as many of their attacks as possible and be able to wall them with a bronze on. That's the play. <laughs> right? One sacred fire left. Mm. I think I always recover. Because my choice band mod looks really good versus them too. Just go for another sacred fire. Go for another sacred fire. That's all I wanted. All I wanted was those Sacred Fire gone. That's it. So Sacred Fire being gone means that my Bronzong can actually uh, do some damage if I really need to. But also always recovering. Just like if I, if they don't have any attacks, they're not a threat. You know what I mean? And that also is something that could happen. So I don't want to get... I don't want to lose to them critting me. But they only have 8 Brave Birds left. And it only does 74%. So by double recovering, I'm good most of the time. I wish this was a 6% recover, but... Yeah, it's nice to have hazards up, man. And then I click gravity plus U-turn and I click choice band earthquake. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Also, choice specs focus blast is pretty cool too. Me running the double steal. Gonna recover once more just because it's safe. Get in Jirachi here. Actually, why would I not come mind up? Like, what are they going to do to me? <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, I'm going to see if I can go for another one. Actually, that's fine. I just wish pass with this mon into that mon, so it's the same thing. Can you turn here just in case they go ho? -oh. Let me wish up first. This is free. Can I just pass that right to Lugia? Sick. Groudon comes out. Get my homie back in. Pass that right off to Lugia. Just ice beam this guy for some jam uh, damage. So that way later they can't take a choice ban earthquake. Their Cresselia probably has Healing Wish, but that doesn't really matter. Like now, now their Groudon dies to Choice Band Earthquake. Blissey dies to Choice Band Earthquake. I think the gravity is going to be too much. I don't know if the last of the Lottie. It's Ludicolo. Interesting.
That's Wish here always. And you turn. Get this guy back up. When did they sub? I feel like I'm okay with this as Mon. Like I feel like I'm really okay versus Mon. Plus at the end of the day, you turn for I can Iron Head. Yeah, I can do that. I just go right back, right? Like it's not a big deal what they do here. Actually, I click Specs Draco. Whether they protect or not, maybe they think they take a spatial run. Right? This is my play. Because this is one of the Earthquake switch -ins. They haven't seen any damage from this Mon yet, I think. So I definitely click Draco. I did hi uh, actually, I did 30% with Hydro Pump to Blissey. <laughs> They're about to lose the Iron Head, and this dies. Yeah, this is Specs Palkia, bro. <laughs> Alright, so we killed the Annoying Mon. <laughs> The thing is, Lunar Dance does recover PP. But at this point, my Groudon's fast and everything, too, so. Also, I literally go Bronzong and click Toxic now. Toxic's free on Ho Oh. Toxic's free on this guy, too. A worked for me. This Pokemon. So we got this guy. I think I safely go Palkia because no matter what play they make now, I think I kill something. Focus Blast. Ready to see this Focus Blast Palkia? I'm assuming the Healing Wish here. I'd Healing Wish here. They went Groudon. I'm just gonna kill an Earthquake. And I'll make the Palkia play because I want to make sure I just click. Yeah, I just gravity plays U turn now. And I have a nice little U turn now. At this point, my choice ban. Uh, My choice band mon gonna hit a little bit hard. Oh, they, why do they protect, dude? <laughs> That's annoying. Like this mon could actually beat me down. Let's see how much we do. Okay, I go bronze on always. Cause fire punch can also kill these guys too. Toxic is my play. This doesn't matter. I can always infinitely wish pass. I wonder if the last move is Roos. Or Recover. It is. Okay. No big deal. They don't do much damage to me anyway. They only have Brave Birds after all. So my Lugia gets to come in and just eat for breakfast.
Uh, GG. I'll say it when you forfeit, bro. Alright, GG. Nice, yo, the gravity did it, bro. Alright, last game. Good old reliable rain. The gravity did it, bro. Now it's Pursuit Weave all the time. Also, that type of team looks like it gets smashed by Subcombined uh, Giratina, so that's really interesting. I wonder if they bring that again. Have fun. Spike up. Go Kyogre now. Get up rain. And kill the Oxus. Okay, cool. So that's really limiting turn, and I, I still have like what they think might be a Specs Kyogre, right? Maybe a Dialga comes out, doesn't kill me. Whatever comes out doesn't kill me. <laughs> Latios doesn't kill me. I'll Thunder Wave the hell out of you if I have to. I can also get him more spikes as well, so... This is alright. But yeah. Um, okay, so, as always, coming down to Game 3. Always a fun one. <laughs> Let me see this. Oh, they were linking our games in the Ubers uh, chat. Just any of the gear team matches are just completely random. Oh, sorry, I was just looking at some stuff. But yeah, uh, Kyogre, I'm um, bulky. I'm going to click Thunder on you. Just in case your specs a water spout. Get some beautiful damage on their walk-on berry Kyogre. And I get a para, which is pretty big. Uh, I'll take it. Hey, that's Pokemon. There's 30% chance, right? Ice Beam here. They have their own rain that can reset for me, right? So I always go for Ice Beam, I think. I think. I don't want them rock polishing for re. I have no idea how fast their Groudons are running. Maybe they're max speed. I ran two. My Kyogre's up to 250 speed, so. This also could be a random berry as well. But I need damage on it anyway. If I can afford it. Like I said, they have their own Kyogre, so. I'm assuming I can play it in a way where I don't have to worry as much about rain. I have Ice Punch as well, which looks strong. The Dragon Claw there as their Life Orb. Gonna psycho boost that way they're only down to one weather basically. Ah, oh, damn, damn. I'm sorry. I mean, I mean now they only they have Kyogre, so like I don't have to worry about weather. But damn. <laughs> and Kyogre dies to uh, to waterfall too. That's a big start crit, man. That's so whack. Just get up more spike as they get fully paralyzed. So we get up all three layers. My dude cannot catch a break. My dude legit can't catch a break. This is a really good mana bring out now that Groudon's dead, right? <laughs> like This mon just gets a kill. Yeah, like, with Groudon being dead and all three hazards going up, like a random Garchomp's whatever, this Mon is whatever. I roar. My god. My dude cannot catch a break, bro. Yo, I'm sorry about this game. Especially because this damage, this turn is free for me. I think I go for rocks here. Because I want to make sure I can waterfall sweep this guy. 
And I believe Weavile's Pursuit knocks this guy out. Weavile. I don't know what the custom set is, but Pursuit does 35 to 41. I just go Weavile and click Ice Punch. I don't have to Pursuit. This is this is this is DVP Ubers. You don't have to click Pursuit, right? Like I don't have to. I just click Ice Punch. <laughs> like everything is weak to Ice, and if it's not weak to Ice, it's Jirachi or Bronzong. That's literally it. Like quite literally. And yeah, I went for Stealth Rock there just for the extra chip on Dialga. Maybe that'll bite me if it's like, I don't know. I'll look in a sec what happens. But maybe that'll bite me if it's like a, like a Custap Berry set. Let's just assume like Choice Scarf or Specs or whatever the hell it was because I have no idea. Kabutops Waterfall in the Rain does 36 to 45. Good to know. So I can just Ice Shard that guy. But yeah, he can't go out to Dialga now, obviously. So Ice Shard will put it in Waterfall range. And then the last, we pray it's not a Rayquaza. Maybe it is. Trying to think like what's the best way to ensure I don't lose to a last moment Rayquaza because maybe I should have went Giratina there, forced the Draco, then go Weavile after. I hope it's not Rayquaza. <laughs> well, we also don't know if they're Diago's Scarf, right? So that kills them. I think I ice shard here. I think I sat Giratina. To Draco. And then go Kabu. I don't know what the last is, man. If it's Rayquaza, it's Rayquaza, right? It's Kingdra. Damn, I lost anyway. <laughs> I lost anyway to Kingdra. Damn it. Man. <laughs> so I had to keep Dialga healthy. Even after all that luck. I can't be mad about the luck in this game. Because I, 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 mean, I got an insane amount of luck this one. Unless they're randomly like bulkier variants of Kingdra. Then I get low kick damage off, and then I uh, then I win with Ice Shard. But I doubt it. Or unless Ice Shard crits, I guess. Uh, Ice Shard crit probably doesn't kill either. Maybe they run attack on Kingdra and like not speed for Kabu. I have no idea. Dragon Pulse knocks me out. They're not specs. Comes down to Ice Shard crit, right? Good game. Alright, so I'm out of the tournament. Uh, definitely, I got really lucky in this one, so I cannot complain at all. Like, I mean, I got all these hazards up. I'm trying to think for a late Mon Kingdra, what would have been... The play would have been on this Mon. I think the play would have been on this Mon to... Uh, to sack Giratina, but I would have to know they had a lot late Mon. They had a lot of hazards anyway. So that Mon would have been a problem regardless. That was sick though. Kingdra, unfortunately... Ends, uh, ends my streak. Uh, another rain user. It's crazy because if I had uh, in this situation, if it was Quillfish, because I always talked about Quillfish versus uh, Kabu. If it was Quillfish, I boomed on the Kingdra and that was it. But that was a good series overall. I don't, I don't think I played uh, any of them poorly. Let me look at the first one. Poke in. Let me relook at it. Really quick. Load. Let me see the first one. Kind of cool, yep. Uh, I mean, all this versus Skyman. If I didn't have to take a T spike, sure, but that's Skyman, right? So I'm not. It's like being mad about losing to Jirachi flinches. It happens at the end of the day, and I think I. 
Despite the matchup, I think I did okay in that situation. Especially with like Protect plus Toxic and everything. But I think I, I think I did alright in that scenario. Double to that, dodge the Toxic there, so I got a little bit lucky. I killed the Jirachi. Shaman, if they if they, they didn't risk that, I killed that. Kyogre comes out. Maybe here I should have Dracoed first, I think. I think that would have made a difference. Because that would have most likely KO'd Groudon. And then it would have been their Dialga versus my Mewtwo and stuff. And I could try and trick him late game as well. I did miss my Draco though, which hurt. But I would still have to depend on a miss from Skyman. But yeah, either way, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this series. It's been fun. Uh, I'm out of the tournament. That's basically it. So I really hope you all enjoyed. If you did, let me know. And unfortunately, we go 1-3. I do think two and two, but like I mean, last round was really bad for me. But that 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 last game, like I can't even complain, bro. Like look how look how unlucky that was for my opponent. I got everything, and even then, it still wasn't enough because Kings are in the end. That, how DVP is that? The late mon that you can't see ends up winning. Uh, what was the last move on Lugia Thunder? It was Bolt Beam. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoy it. I will see you guys in the uh, next one. Peace, guys.